Do you hear that sound? That buzzing sound? There's quite the buzz on the stock market. If you haven't heard, Dave Portnoy is helping launch or has already helped launch this ETF called BUZZ. That's the ticker symbol. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in a little bit. What's up, you guys? I'm Sean from Gym Class Finance. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're new to the channel, we talk about three things, investing, budgeting, and side hustles, everything personal finance. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to, to like this video if you found value in it. Today, we're talking about ticker symbol BUZZ. That's the Vanek Vectors Social Sentiment ETF. So this ETF is a little radical, a little controversial. Let's talk about why. So I'm probably sure you've heard by now about all the buzz around GameStop, AMC, all those stocks that the Reddit readers have been uh, pumping. And if you haven't, well, just go ahead and Google it and you'll learn a lot about it. But the, the reason that this is so controversial is because it does have a little bit to do with what's being said or talked about on social media, which is not always the best way to invest your money just by what other people are saying. The founder of Barstool Sports, Dave Portnoy, has taken the lead in launching this ETF, and here's a little bit of what he has to say about it. It's more of a long-term view, and it doesn't have to be you know, a Reddit stock, so to speak. It can be talked about anywhere, stock twits, headlines, anything, um, but it'll take into account Reddit. So this ETF is made up of 75 top companies based on their social media sentiment. In other words, the level of buzz online, and typically you don't make those investments when you're just looking at the hashtags. But that's what this ETF is going to bring you. So if you're just looking at this ETF, it looks pretty normal, just like most other ETFs. But this one is made up of the 75 talked about, most talked about companies. They have to have at least a $5 billion market cap, which definitely is nice because you're not going to be dealing with penny stocks and that, that type of thing. You're going to be dealing with, you know, some rather large companies. And since its launch, it actually has outperformed the S&P 500. The Vanek Social Sediment ETF, or Buzz, gets its 75 stocks from an algorithm called the Buzz Next Gen AI US Sentiment Leaders Index, which identifies companies getting bullish social media sentiment. Now, in short, it picks stocks based on the rising popularity, not necessarily the price of those stocks. So many investors aren't too keen on buzz because they struggle to link the social media mentions with share price. Typically, the factors that should indicate a rise in share price are typically earnings, growth potential, and just the demand. Let's take a look at some of the holdings that are in buzz, just so you can get an idea of what it's actually holding. And at the top of the list, you can obviously see Apple, Amazon, Palantir, AMD. So you've got some pretty popular names there. Um, nothing crazy. I've never heard of Rocket Cause Incorporated. Um, you do have the, your GameStop in here, your Viacoms, your Novavax, DraftKings, Facebook. And I'll let you continue on just taking a look at each of the companies. And once again, these companies then are reordered or redistributed. Um, they, these companies don't stay the same each month in this ETF because it changes with social media sentiment. So now let's talk a little bit about the costs or the expense ratios that are involved with this ETF. Now, as you know, if you follow the channel for very long, you know that I talked about zero expense ratio funds and I'll continue to talk about those index funds. Um, there's some other ones that are even, you know, very minimal $3 on $10,000 worth of an investment. Now, this one is a little bit higher. It has a 0.75 uh, expense ratio, so it is a little higher, but it's obviously, um, I wouldn't say it's out of line. Um, and so um, it is a little higher than I like, but it's just an interesting um, point, and it's interesting to see that this expense ratio, um, what, where they priced it at. So that was the bare bones on Buzz. Uh, if you've never heard of this, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd love to talk more about it. Um, I do have two shares of this uh, in my car fund. Uh, if you follow along the channel, I'll put a card up above 
where I continue to update my uh, car fund. I have that invested in some stocks on Robinhood. So if you're interested in checking that out, go ahead and do that. Uh, you can also get some free stocks with Webull or Robinhood if you choose to do that. I have a link in the description. And um, hopefully this brought some value to you. And if it did, go ahead and hit that like button. That definitely helps me out. And remember, it's that simple. Oh,